hi everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel in today video i am going to demonstrate how to add a juniper vmx image in evng let's start so before we go into the installation process so few things which i would like to add here uh, juniper vmx images are based on the dual node setup so where you have routing engine uh, which is your vcp in nokia terms they call it as a cpm uh, is connected to the forwarding mgm vpf so there will be two nodes will be there and all the configurations will be done on the uh, RE which is routing engine and all the forwarding traffic which will be on the VFE. Okay. So this is the uh, two VM model and you can log into both the VM to verify the status of the VMs whether it is booting, whether it is already up and uh, running and it's ready to uh, you know take the traffic. So we can verify it and second is the VMX bundle uh, combined with different packages uh, actually, but we need only the four packages which I have listed. Once you extract this uh, VMX image, you will have this all list of uh, uh, different uh, you know variety of uh, you know files inside it. But we are going to use only this four from out of this list. Uh, first three will be used for the VCP, uh, which is your uh, routing engine, and last one which will be used for the VFAC. For forwarding the traffic that's a line card let's do it quickly uh, i have uh, downloaded the vmx image from the juniper, uh, juniper official website and uh, what we are going to do we are going to create the vcp uh, image folder first what i did for the simplicity I have taken only the three image which is four images which is uh, record for the Juniper uh, RE and VFAC to boot up. So you can see this one, two, one, three and four. Only this four are required. So remaining is not required. Like, so I have deleted everything cleaned up for the simplicity purpose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this I'm going to create the folder as it is uh, as you can see that the image that which I'm using is 17.1 R1 I'm going to create a folder okay I did create it for VCP then after that I'm gonna copy the image for the VCP so as you can see first I'm going to copy the Kiko image and change the format of the QCO image to VARTIOA.QCO2 as per the EVNG standard. So we did copy that. It take few seconds. And we have done one image copied. And second, we will copy the second one here. This is the hardest HDD. So the this will come with the uh, the earlier file which we copied. It's uh, it's QCO2. So we have done it. And second file that we are uh, copying is the uh, .img, but we change it to QCO2 because uh, it's on the KMU node. Uh, Eng is running uh, using the KMU node, so we use that uh, you know QCO2 format for hard disk. So it is done. So second also I copied, and the last one for the VCP. I am going to copy the metabase from IMG to QCO2 that we are doing it. As it's all done, we can verify it. So you can see there are three files which we have copied from the temp which we have moved from the temporary folder to the uh, VMX folder on the QMO. So let me go and copy for VFEC. As you can see the image folder is there, uh, files are left still because I just did a copy, I didn't move it. So that's the reason that still this files are still in the temporary folder. So I will remove it after we do the installation. So we are what we are going to, we are going to create a new folder for VFE, VFEC. We have done that and we are going to move this 
copy the VFPC image to that folder. Yes. It takes, because the size of the image is higher, so it takes more time to copy from. If it is moved, then it will move quickly. But in case if it copy, it takes like few seconds. Then once it is done, what we are going to do? We are going to fix a permission for the new added image like previously we have done. Just let me verify the folder. Yeah, the file is already present. So here you can see, have the VCP and VFPC for the Juniper VMX. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in using the URL. So already have this IP. So username and password, we all know that it's admin and password is Eve. Let's create a new file called Juniper VMAX. So as we discussed or have mentioned earlier in series in the video, so right click, you can add a node, I click here and add an object. Click on node here, then select here the Juniper. As you can see, I have the Juniper VCP is there. So I can click here. I can save it. Then next node, then again type Juniper or VFP. So it will get selected. As you can see, it requires a 3 CPU and 4 GB of RAM. Yes, it's FXP is your management interface. So we use the internal EM1 internal and VM1 internal to the chassis fabric to connect between RE and VFPC. So right click start, then let's start the import the images and it will take like four to five minutes to boot up completely then we'll be able to log in and perform the configuration task. Let's wait for it to boot up completely. It's booting up. I guess now the email, now the router is up. So we can log into the router now. So here you can see it took almost approximate like five minutes to boot up. The username with the login will be root and there is no password. Click on CLI. Then you will be able to access the CLI. It takes few minutes for the interface. And as I mentioned, you can log into the VFPC also. Here you can see it is getting merged. So Yes, here you can see it has mapped with routing engine zero and you have the chassis fabric and you have the FPC also. So you can do any configurations by entering into CLA. Uh, so I hope uh, it gives you the uh, good idea how to spin the lab and how to start doing the configuration on the Juniper VMX. Hope you guys like the video and please subscribe and share it with your friends and do like and comment. Thank you very much for watching the video.